Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about switching from major chords to minor chords. So I just like to put the idea out there and show you maybe how to make use of it. And then hopefully you'll put it to good use in your uh, playing or songwriting or, or whatever it is you do. So the idea is very simple. It's whatever chord you're playing, you usually can follow it up with the same chord uh, in a minor version. So, for example, uh, suppose you're in the key of C major and you're playing C followed by a D. Then a possible follow-up to that would be a D minor. Uh, this can be thought of as a chord substitution. So instead of playing a D for, say, a bar, you can play a D for half a bar and then maybe a D minor for the remaining half bar. Uh, and this works with many degrees on the scale. So it works with a second degree, so a two major to a two minor. It works with a four major to a four minor. Uh, it works with a 5 major to a 5 minor, which is usually either followed by a 4 or a 2 minor. So either an F in the key of C major or a D minor. Uh, you can even do this trick with the root, so you can follow a C with a C minor. Uh, which then will, I mean, there are many options, but a personal preference of mine is to lead it to either a 4 or a 2 minor. So, just to give you an idea of the different sounds you can get with this sort of transition, uh, I'm going to just play a little song. I'm not going to sing, I'm going to whistle, uh, but I hope it gets the message through. So the song had many major to minor transitions. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is that the melody actually can capitalize on that by stressing this transition. I mean, it's, it's a harmonically interesting transition. So what changes when you go from a major to a minor, say from a D major to a D minor, is the middle uh, note of the chord in the root form, actually, if you want to be more harmonically, harmonically precise, then the third. Uh, so here we have the F sharp and the D, D major, going to a simple F and the D minor. So when writing a melody to fit this transition, you might want to uh, emphasize the maybe F sharp and the D, or the F and the D minor, which is exactly what uh, I did while whistling. So the melody was So the transition is F sharp to F really highlighting the harmonic change that I'm acting out. Uh, you can think of doing a similar thing with the F. So an F So 
with an F, what changes, again, is the three. The major three goes to a minor three. In this case, it's an A going to an A flat. And you might want to incorporate the, the, you know, both the A and the F, and the A flat and the F minor into your melody. Uh, similarly, with the G going to a G minor. So this kind of transition could be emphasized. Of course, don't overdo it because it becomes a bit too boring. But it's something to think about. So I hope you got an interesting new idea to play with, and I'll see you next time.